Howdy, 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 my name is Anachi Sasuke, and welcome back to the Swords of Ditto Mormo's Curse. I was initially going to start the game in the game to just dodge that loading screen, but the reason I decided to not do that is, one, because I saw on the patch notes for the game that the reason my load times are so long is my SD card might not be good enough, and I just think that's a funny reason for it to be long because it says that the load times are already 30 seconds, but that the SD card might make it worse. So I don't know if it's my SD card or not, because the load times are already 30 seconds. <clears throat> but also the gigantic load times gives me time to explain what's happened since the last time I've played this. I was told by a commenter whose YouTube name I don't know how to say because it's in another language, that what I had to do to beat Mormo was stop using the laser ring. Even though I wasn't actually using the laser ring, just having it in equipped to my inventory at all made it so that I couldn't actually... So that I couldn't actually do the thing. I did confirm that the save files are connected. So that's why getting the extra lives cost more even though it was a new save file. That's why I still have all of the characters I unlocked on the first file and on the second one. But this thing here, I did actually manage to beat Mormo. And the way that the game decided to handle that is by forcing you to go back to her tower before you're allowed to do anything else. So she can go, hey I'm back now and Poo Poo goes... Or Puku goes, well, you're not you're not allowed to just kill him immediately. Oh, fine. But well, what do I do with all this power? I know. And then she curses the land anyway, as if I didn't beat her. But this thing here... <clears throat> Puku says I should bring it to Stonehenge. <clears throat> and the whale goddess with serendipity, when I beat the game last time, said that there may be a way to make the curse stop. So I don't know if bringing this to Stonehenge is going to heal the world and then I don't even need to fight Mormo anymore. Or if I needed to do this several times until Mormo stops respawning. I would think that it, I have to do it several times, because there's a lot of things out in Stonehenge. And, let's see. Yeah, I gotta get out there. And when I say that it made it as... She's like, I'll just make it as though the last sword never beat me. And then it just has all that stuff that would have spawned if you had never beat her. And it looks like I have to cut through her dark evilness anyway. And whatever level the sword was when you beat the game is the level it is when you when you start a new game. But except this time, the statue was here instead of it being in the graveyard. Hooray! I don't have enough money to do anything at the toy store. I have, I still have the the popper. I have the auto popper, the kazoo. I sent myself some food from the last hero. I was not able to send myself any of the toys of legend or whatever they're called. But I was able to give myself some of the stickers. So that's nice. My sword level is 6. The world level is 6. My target level is 11. So it's going to take a while for me to actually get there. But since the world level is the same level I am, I should be easily able to do the dungeons and whatnot. But I do have to cut through Mormo's... The Mormolair to... Uh, get to the Stonehenge, it looks like, and I know Puku's gonna be all, you shouldn't, what is this? I can't interact with it, whatever it is. And this particular house looks a lot worse for the wear. Have you heard the babble coming out of that robot in the toys? I someone must have fried at circus a long time ago. Mainland this, Doc Terminus that, nonsense! If there were other islands out there, surely we'd know about them. I mean, y'all are kind of cursed, so probably not. Hey, a pot, let's break it. But anyway, um... I haven't played the game since I started this new playthrough and found out that it's just going to keep cursing the world whether you win or lose so that you actually have enemies to fight. And when I when it told me the Stonehenge thing, I figured, well, I better wait that out until I can actually show the, the people that. I don't know how many people are actually, like, kept up with this after the first episode, because a lot of people seem to be watching the first one, and not a lot of people are watching the second one. But this one, I don't know. I figured I'd keep doing it. It's a roguelike, and eventually it will be beatable. What I might do after this episode, once we get to find out what, uh, once we get, her palace is only level 7? Anyway, once we get to find out what Stonehenge does, and then play a little bit more of this playthrough, I'll probably start playing off screen in between episodes, and then if anything major changes, or if I actually get to the point where I can beat the game for real for real, then I'll do an episode of that happening. 
Because there's no real reason they're doing a bajillion of a bajillion episodes of a roguelike RPG game that's going to take 30,000 years because of being a roguelike RPG game. Oh, I can't. I guess I can keep going up then. But as I was saying, there's, there's no real reason to having a bajillion episodes of this when I can instead just have the amount of episodes necessary. And as of right now, the next episode we would need after this would be to see if anything changes. I do think it's interesting that the outside of her castle is the same level I am. I can't go to Stonehenge, can I? Interesting. And by interesting, I mean arg. Okay, back we go. I am actually almost already level 7. Not sure what caused that. Pew! Pew! Probably attacking dudes caused that. That one's level 8, though. Which meant nothing. Kaboom! Ka kaboom? Okay. Wait, those are crystals. I need those. You're level 12. And you're level 13. I feel like y'all are a higher level than Mormo is. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of toy juice. Okay, so, if we can't get to Stonehenge in either of those directions, and that question mark down there is probably also bogusness. That's a pickle. I probably should have known it was going to be difficult to get there. If it, if it, if there's a chance that getting to Stonehenge is going to make Mormo just kind of stop, I should have known it was going to be difficult to do it. Although I do wonder what what's the deal with these skeletons on the map. I don't know what's up with that. It's Ditto Mart, but I don't have enough money for that to mean anything. Give me. What's this? The notice board is completely empty. Side quest or... Hey, can I ask you a question that I'm asking for a friend? How many hot dogs is too many? Fifteen is too many. I don't care for your judgment. He also wants to trade stickers, but I don't think I have any spares. But here's Lick's Sticker Shack. At which I can trade... or... or oh, cool, money. I have a, a blank sticker and I want to find out what it is. Licky Sticky Shack. St st stickers! Welcome to Lick Sticker Shack. I've not had a new sticker fiend visit in years. Sticky! Stickers! You can buy stickers here, but only if you've got somewhere to put them first. Feel free to have a browse. Scan these codes! 25% greater health during the day. Lest, uh, toys use less tip. Stickers! Come back anytime. Stickers! Okay. Thank you, Lake. You should probably get that, uh, that shrieking checked out, though. So it looks like the goal of this episode is figure out how to get to Stonehenge. I know the goal is supposed to be get the toys and beat the dungeons and then smack Mormo all upside the head with this sword here, but I'm much more interested in figuring out how to get to Stonehenge because that's new things and the actual quest is old things. But also get to find out why there's skeletons everywhere. Not sure what to do with that is. Maybe they have kazoos for me. Oh, hey, it's, um, this place. You stay over there. The person who can tell me where all the serendipity fountains are. You've been graced by serendipity. Well, this is their sanctuary. The grandest shrine and, and ditto. Used to help people talk to serendipity. The shrines. Yep. There you are, mention them to me, won't you? Come back and I'll just be your soaking. It wouldn't even let me mention you to them, I'm sorry, dude. Or Judette, I don't, I don't know. Where am I? The skull is up there. That's weird. Don't you gasp at me. What is this? What the heck is this? Oh, that's a brain. 
Can you make my sword better? It's blacksmiths. Hey. Darling, you finally came to see me. I've been dying to hear from you. You're the talk of the town, you know. Ah, but let me introduce myself. I'm the blacksmith, darling. And while I bet you're handy with a sword, I can make you even... Handier. I know how to treat a weapon, see, and I think I could buff yours up something wonderful. Alas, I'm having something of a material shortage. I will need you to lend a hand as well, if you will. Uh, okay, and wh who are you? Hey there! Want you to buy something? Want to? Yes! Able to? No. Although, if I have the top hat... What is this? Hot rod. Rolling leaves fire, but it uses TP. Less damage at night? Increase defense. I'll pass. Okay, so what materials do you need? There are four things I need if I'm able going to uh if I need to augment your weapon. First, a lump of metal, obviously. So I had a source of energy to get my furnace going. Third, something to keep my flame ablaze! Fuel essentially. And fourth, an item that can polish and sharpen. You mean those things I've been finding that nobody knew what they did? That I didn't bring with me because nobody <sighs> Did I, did I bring any of that with me? Nope. Did I even find any of that in this this file? I don't think I did. So I, th I probably know some of the things I'm looking for. I do not know how to find them. Hello, guy that's a cluster of skulls. Let's see, where are we? <coughs> Up we go. Ouch. That is a boulder. The boulder is over his conflicted feelings. I really, I really like that character from Avatar The Last Airbender. I read that they wanted to have Dwayne Johnson be that character, but he was busy doing Dwayne Johnson things, so they got some other dude. <coughs> Burst Seek Forest. Still not at the skeletons. Seems to be thunderstorming, though. Is that a mini stone dinge? Why are you out here? Also, I don't know how I feel about the rocks just sitting there smiling. They're all... Eee! And it's uncomfortable. I'm in the wrong place entirely. Also, it looks like there's probably a hole here. Oh, ooh, money. So I've got to go down this way. Don't you look at me! I did not give you clearance to look upon me. Ladybug. Oh, hey, it's that bear that just sort of chills out here. I once pledged to never use this axe to do anything other than my job as a lumberjack, but times change. Alright, that's that was ominous. What is that? What the hell is that? Wait, maybe it has something to do with the um 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 the Stonehenge thing. Because it, it looks it looks just like this. Money! Lore devices, which I've not been reading, like, any of! The counterpart of fate, Serendipity is the Ditoan goddess of good and often unexpected fortune. They are described in the older fables as taking the form of a whale. Although this appears odd now, in ancient Ditoan fishing communities, whales were seen as creatures that brought great luck. The sea one was a portent of good fortune to come. Serendipity was not granted passage into the Arcadian Circle when Ditto joined the Empire. Perhaps due to them being a more elusive presence than fate. As such, they are not an official deity within the Arcadian faith. Very f few verifiable eyewitnesses' accounts exist. Indeed, most references are to be found in older texts that prioritized fantasy over mundane reality. But many still nonetheless believe in their existence. Modern sightings of serendipity usually reference a female with long, wavy blonde hair, usually glimpsed in the periphery of a catastrophe or in incident that, almost miraculously, results with no loss of life. I have never seen that. I have only ever seen whale. Okay, so fate put this curse on everybody. I really probably should have been checking the lore. I don't, I don't know if the lore actually connects across all playthroughs or not. Hmm. Ah! Rude. Brain, don't touch me with your brain feelers! Do not touch me with your brain feelers! 
Вижу. The little times do seem a little less completely terrible than they used to. Now where am I? Okay, looks like that way is the skull thing. And it's another one of these! Don't you look at me! Seriously, I wonder what these things do. And why they're everywhere. I know it's got something to do with Stonehenge. I just need to figure out how to, how to get to Stonehenge. Okay, so why are there bony men here? What the heck was that? What? 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 There's just overworld bosses now? Ah! Meh. Um, hey bear! Uh, hello there! You're a pretty one, aren't you? You're strong, thick, and what beautiful bark you have! Guess I can't wait to chop you down. That's weird. Okay, so now I know that the, uh... There's dungeon bosses just chilling out in the world now. Groovy! I've come to take your treasure. I'ma just... I've only seen the King's Motel one time. Like, in my last pl my last file, I found the King's Hotel. And then when it was time to actually use the shiny things that they like there, I couldn't find it again. I also had some things break with the, the fast traveling. Um, evidently if you use the kazoo from the menu, it'll let you go to fast travel places before you've actually discovered them. What level is this hole? All enemies regenerate their health. TP recharges quickly. I... There might be good stuff in here, but I don't really want any part of that. Like I said, my primary goal right now is finding out what it is that Stonehenge does. And to do that, I must first find out how to get to Stonehenge. And now that I know the skeletons are overworld bosses that don't even have levels, they just have skulls. And there's normal enemies all over the place, but it doesn't look like I can go any further from here. So, let's use the kazoo. Um... Actually... I, I take it back, let's... let's that's not what I wanted to do! Now I've gotta wait for it to resolve. <sighs> Sorry about this. The game has a thing where if you get even almost near an entrance, even if you're not going towards the entrance, they're like, Well, guess you're going this way! Yup! I'm not a fan of the game doing that, but... It doesn't look like it's a glitch, it looks like it's just supposed to do that? I haven't seen anything in the patch notes about it, and I assume every other version of it does it too. Don't look at me! Okay, uh... It says there's another exit up here. I don't... I don't see one! Okay, I'm not there yet. So how do I get... Up a doozle. It looks like this is the way I get up a doozle. Oh god! Okay. Okay. So now we're over here. When it loads. I don't like the sound of that! Okay. Whale, whale, whales! Like, I don't know what that sound is. That's the cat shop guy. Meh. Whale lady! How do I get, how, how do I get to Stonehenge? Okay, it, it looks like the life might cap out at 350. Maybe. Woo! No, rude. I don't really need to do the cat shop guy right now. There seems to be a running thing of the stores having adorable mascots on the wall, and then the shopkeepers are not that. Oh, it's the first toy dungeon.
Which means there's a kazoo out here somewhere. There it is. Now you can travel to this beacon whenever you want. Assign your kazoo to something, something, blah, 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 blah. Okay, uh, I go that way. We're not going to do that yet. I should probably at least see what level it is. Let's see, I get right. Hmm. It didn't suck me into oblivion that time. Yay? What is that guy? Okay, looks like we got another overworld boss coming up to flee from. Yeah. Hello, random civilian. What do you got to say to me? Well, I'll be! If it ain't the sword, how's business? Yeah, the whole normal thing is causing this hassle here, too. Some of the trees drink up a bit too much of the ether, makes them all rotten inside. Still, I'm sure you'll be able to do something about that, right? I'm working on it. The sooner I can get the stone hands, the sooner I can find out how helpful that is. And it is still sucking me into oblivion, it just not as quickly as I thought it was. But it's a problem when you're trying to roll past an opening, or if you're trying to fight something, kind of like Monster Hunter, where you're trying to, like, fight something, but if you're too close to the doorway, it just goes, and now you're over here, deal with it. Okay. Good signs, good signs. Don't, don't look at me. Uh... Stop! St stop! Stop, drop, and roll. Okay, hey, Bird Birdman. Side quest? Got attacked by a monster over in Roll Moth co Cops the other day. Dropped this key when I killed it. Cool. 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 This way now. I may very well be able to kill the overworld bosses, but the fact that they're surrounded by other enemies that are a higher level than me is why I'm not even trying. Now where am I? Oh, I appear to be at a dungeon dungeon. And I can smack one of these eyeball dudes in the face. Apparently there's a tiny room in between here and eyeball dude whose face I will be doing the smacking of. So count as his face if it's only his eye. Seriously, what the heck is this? Hey. Okay, Mormo's level 11, but the outside of her tower is level 7. And now I'm also level 7. What the? What? That probably wasn't worth it. Um. Okay, so I can... Do not... Dang. Okay, up we go. Nope. Oh. You missed! Okay, back up here. Honestly, I don't quite remember how to use the heel wheel. I feel like it was hold L. Was it hold L? Was it, or was it hold ZL? R? ZR? ZR. Wait, if this, <clears throat> if this is the next dungeon, there should be... Yep. Now I can do all the kazooning. I should be going up. All of the kazooning. Sup? Hmm, am I okay? Yes, I'm fine. No, I can move if I wanted to. I just don't happen to want to move, okay? All right, fine. I took a wrong turn to saw all these monsters, and now I'm scared to move. And before you ask, no, that's not a wet patch on my trousers. They're wet look denim, okay? It's fine, you you can pee yourself here. I mean, look at that guy. He's got a flaming yellow skeleton skull head thing. Are all these monoliths the kazoo? Hmm. I just realized that, they, they're, they're the fast travel kazoo bit. I found the town with the zombies. And a serendipity. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, I should probably. Yep. 
We're going to find the Stonehenge. Either we're going to find Stonehenge or we're going to find that all of its entrances are blocked. In which case, I have absolutely no idea how to get around that. That's a good sign. I want to see what happens when this town is open. Because when you start the game for the very first time, this town is bustling. But there has literally never been a point where we actually get to see that because... It always brings you straight to Mormo when the nonsense happens. Cause I was I was hoping that when I beat Mormo for the first time, I was actually going to get to walk around and see the world be nice and beautiful, but instead it just skips straight to everything being boned. It's the other toy dungeon! Ta-da! A new toy dungeon! And not the kind your parents warned you about either. I really, I, I like that this game makes jokes like that. What you got for me? Oh, you suck! Oh, God! No, screw that! Screw who that! Drink some milk, it's good for you. Unlike that guy. I don't know what I'm supposed to be getting from that guy, but I don't need it. I don't even almost need it. Hey, it's the other kazoo! Now you can travel to the beacon whenever you want to do the travel. I didn't want to go down there. Okay, so it looks like this this way does not go to the Stonehenge. Oh, cool. There's just a box here. Gimme. It's more money! Okay, so... If this way doesn't go to Stonehenge, is there any way that does? Actually, I'm not, I'm not even sure if they call it st uh, Stonehenge. I think they just call it The Henge. Okay, no, there's another door up there. There's another door up there. Maybe this other door will help. Unless it, it's not blocked by weird slime oozman. Good stuff, good stuff. No slime oozman. Alright. Yes, hello, monkey. Uh, man that appears to be monkey. Okay. Okay, we're almost there. Don't take this away from me. Okay, cool. Hmm. Do barrel! Why are you over here? I love being a scavenger, but it hurts my parent that my parents are so ashamed of me. They say they aren't, but then I found out they're telling their friends I'm a wealth redistribution agent. I've, it's a bit strange that Mormo Curse in the World extends as far as people being scavengers again when the world was literally, literally, literally just not cursed. Were you already scavenging? Burpool Field. We made it. We made it! Do you... Or do wish to make offering sword? Yeah. Take it. Your offering accepted. What? No! Game, why are you like this? Ah, ah! Eat the- eat- I don't have any food! Why am I still dying? Get the poison off! Um... I think this- I'm pretty positive this run is about to end. Unless I only have to kill that guy now.
I don't know, man. It doesn't look like it's one of the splody ones. Wait a minute. Coffee! Ha ha! The ritual. Successful. If you had killed me before I got to find out what Stonehenge did, I was gonna be so upset! You did it! See that glowing light? Well, I guess that means something good? Looks like there are five of them, so we need to get some more of these icon thingies. That means another whipping of Wormbo's butt! That's our specialty! Let's go! Okay, cool! Cool, cool, cool! So, now I know what the goal is. Now I know what the actual honest-to-god goal is. The goal for the Swords of Ditto is you have to beat Mormo five times and bring him the Stonehenge, and then something will happen. Awesome. I apologize that there's not going to be more things in this episode, like like things of like, oh, let's go do the dungeons and let's go beat Mormo now, because it's going to take a very long time to do that, and it's going to be stressful. I will probably be like, meh, a lot. So, rather than have like a two-hour episode of me actually doing all the dungeons. From now on, until such a time where I'm able to get another emblem, I'm going to do this off-screen. So when uh, I'll do another episode when I get another emblem. If I get another emblem. Because I might die, as you just saw I almost did. I can- I'm gonna go buy some more items. And then, like, once I'm in a good spot where I don't feel like I'm gonna get exploded to death. I'll start doing stuff. But in the meantime, this has been Anachi Sasuke. This was episode 3 of Let's Play the Swords of Ditto Mormo's Curse. If you liked it, a like and subscribe will be groovy. If you didn't, you don't need to do either one of those things. And hey, if you have some tips for me, like that one person who got me through that game breaking glitch, please let me know in the comments. That was extremely helpful, and I do appreciate it when you guys do that. So thanks again, and I'll see you on the next one. Later!